Hello there, this is Space Runner 5. Welcome back to round 5 of the tournament, where today we're playing against a German player in our current. Or in the fifth round, beginning, first game. Let's see. Got card removal. Sherman's nice. Pair. Probably don't need these two. Ah, uh, the three drops actually kind of nice. So we can do something like that. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Sherman. Uh, I do like having the Panzer in hand. A second Awoke Giant. Interesting. All right, this is going to be a German rush deck. Fortunately, we do have a three drop now, nice five five, and we do have two card removals of a whip giant, so we can actually, hopefully, add two resistance cards to my hand. That sucks. <laughs> That's going to be annoying. Nice two drop. How many cards do we have? We have nine. I guess we'll go ahead and just get rid of them. It's gonna throw a card, 5-5 five, five smoke screen. Gonna do another one. Ooh. Would have preferred having that in hand, but this is a German French deck. Add resistance to my hand. Okay. Fortunately at that point it's not too big of a deal. Do have eight cards in hand if he does give us resistance cards. Um, one of them will get thrown away, at least, as a bonus. Nice 2-2, draw card, sure. We still get a draw, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and drop down to 3-6. And we're basically just waiting for him to push, probably next turn. We can wipe the entire front line. However, we are going to get hit at least twice. Once, and then... Yep, right here from these two. However, we will be wiping the field at least. Nice 5-5. Five, five. How many cards do we have in hand? Nine. So we definitely need to lay something down. Hmm. Go to this guy first. He's buffing everyone. Hmm. I do need to lay down a card, otherwise we throw it away. We can get, give up a resistance as well. Only have a 4 drop. Don't necessarily want to take damage. We could clear the front. This will give us a card. Doesn't do us anything though. Let's go ahead and clear the front. Go ahead and waste a card. At least throw it away. Though, if he does give us any resistance, ooh, uh, target must retreat. He's gone. Oh, I would have preferred having that in hand, too. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we definitely need to start throwing cards down. Go ahead and walk forward, give us a card, which we're going to throw away, naturally. We have too many cards in hand. <laughs> hmm. We are at a three card disadvantage at this point. Two, three, add resistance to our hand. Trading for the artillery, or the tank. Draw a card, sure. Smoke, smoke screen, double damage to tanks. Go ahead and suppress the back line, just so we can get the card out of our hand. We don't necessarily want to walk to the front at the moment. Go ahead and get rid of the Resistance. We need to be able to actually draw cards. Okay, so we have seven. We can go to the front line. Force an enemy to retreat, which we don't want to do at the moment. Throw away another resistance. Death from above. Alrighty, we'll go ahead and end our turn. This is a very interesting deck. Definitely don't like it. I like my cards. <laughs> We're at a five card disadvantage right now, so we'll have to be trading very, very well. Deal damage to the enemy HQ equal to the card in the enemy hand. Oof. That hurt. We can get an additional two cards though. And also trade. We'll trade and then fully repair. 
don't want to force anything off the field yet, so we'll go ahead and just end our turn there. Add two resistance cards and draw a card. Okay. Fortunately, we do have room to still draw. One, two, with blitz. Sure. He's gone. You gonna hit me here? Yep. That's okay as well. I don't mind. You do have blitz, so you can drive forward. Card draw. Alrighty. But we definitely need to take the front. Don't want to draw off with dropping the Sherman. Could force him to retreat, which is not that great. Do that twice, actually. Let's beef him up to a 4 4. And we can draw a card safely. Or we can make air a lot worse. Let's go ahead and drop the air down. Four fours guarding us from anything, unless they have blitz. Should be expecting something big plopping down here soon, which is what the death for death from above is basically waiting for. Nice two four artillery. Thank you. Control tank target enemy must retreat a unit. Oof. A two six with mobilize. Well, go ahead and send the infantry off the board. Get you there. Which means we can send the artillery off. Control tank, the infantry must retreat. We do a death from above, but we might hit the panzer. Send him off the board. We also send this guy off the board. So you just have the tank. Now we can kind of sweep in a little bit. Six four. Send all enemy units to the owner's hand. That is awful. Uh, ten, nice ten drop, honestly. There goes our tiger. We can force it off. I'd rather do a death from above on it. Don't have any way to guarantee that this will be gone though. Did hit the wrong thing, that's awful. It's bad RNG. You will not survive. Alright, we'll force it off the board again. And we'll go ahead and end our turn. That was some bad RNG to hit the panzer. Add two resistance cards, sure. I'm up to nine, so I can't actually draw a card that I would like. There's another Leopold, so our tank is gone now. There goes our artillery. Do we get a draw card? We do need to spend more cards, though. Hmm. Well, it didn't quite actually drop that, but... I do have room to draw, so I'll go ahead and get rid of one. There goes another Sherman. So we can clean the board up. They do have a guard unit, though. One through a smoke screen. There goes the plane, yep. Add two resistance cards to hand, so we don't get to draw anything. Add three credits. Should be expecting a pretty big turn next turn. Deal two damage to a unit, deal four damage if it's on the support line, yeah. There goes a Sherman. This guy's been here for a while. Seven. I'd rather get cards out of my hand, basically. 
There's nothing to fully repair. Go ahead and just end our turn. This is a very interesting deck. So he's going to be able to do a full sweep. We're going to take seven guaranteed damage, probably. Two damage on the support line. Okay. You just have to hit the HQ twice with your uh, artillery. Nice 7-7, seven, seven, Tiger 1. Can't be tigered by enemy orders. Hmm. Is there anything that really gets us out of here? Not really. Tiger, you must retreat. However, he's just going to drop it down and then you can just walk in. Him. And he's just going to drop it again and force all my hand cards into my hand again. There it is. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead and give a cool deck and we'll... You actually can't drive forward. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I will see you guys in game two. Alrighty, welcome to game two. We are going to be playing against a British deck. Hopefully it'll be a little bit slower. Well, actually, last game was slow too, but <laughs> didn't go too well. I'll uh, we'll go ahead and keep the Mitchell. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Mustang. Lots of three drops. That's what I like to see. Go ahead and end our, uh, end our turn. We'll drop the Howitzer next turn. Nice one five with guard, sure. card draw, yep. Oh. Excellent. Smacked my uh, computer monitor, moving my house from, hand from my mouse. Hmm. Nice. Getting additional defense, so this guy's probably going to get buffed up. Don't own the front line. We would like to soon, though. Drop the 3-6. There's definitely an argument to have shot this guy, so that would only be a 6-6, because six, six, I'm pretty sure he's going to make it a 7-7 uh, seven, seven next this turn. That he's going to buff it up even more. 3-4. Takes two less combat damage against ground units. So does the artillery even do any damage? No. The guy's a little scary, then. You can go ahead and take the front line, though. Get a 3-3 three, three artillery. Hmm. Do a five five. Sp nah. Yeah. Let's go for the artillery. He's just gonna kill it with the uh, the uh, the air cobra. Takes two less damage from ground targets. It's pretty good. Yeah. Took one damage. You can only drop a three drop though. Okay, deal one damage to target unit enemy. Cost one more. That's a pretty good card too, especially early game. Definitely want to play one of these guys. Don't want to fully repair yet. Do the three damage. Or we can do one damage here. I hit him with the howitzer there. I don't think I necessarily want to do that. You can still take a hit. Drop down a 5-5, five five, just to be a little bit imposing. It can definitely hit this guy and get rid of him. So we'll probably march forward, another 2-3, get additional 2 defense on everything. Yep, there goes our howitzer. Fully repair this guy. That's not enough to be able to walk forward, though. Fully repair him. And we'll go ahead and pass our turn. He's probably got some orders in hand. Probably make this aircraft a 5-5 or something.
Choose one random elite British unit. Sure. Sacrifice. You go ahead and you can sacrifice as well. 1 3 with smoke screen. Use units dealt combat and this unit are destroyed. It's pretty nice actually. Death from above to go ahead and get rid of this guy. It was very nice actually. Do 3 damage to a random enemy unit. Would kill pretty much anything at this point. Could be something we could look at. Just gonna go ahead and hit that guy. We have no more money. This will give a target for his fighter for a little bit. Two, three extra defense for everything. Again. Playing very defensive. You will now survive. Nice 3 2, make him discard, gives him another target at least. Well, I put down some 5th regiments though. Additional damage against tanks. There are no tanks, but we can definitely do some sweeping action now. He's going to go ahead and kill this guy with his fighter again. Plus two, plus two, and blitz. There goes the bomber. We will definitely be uh, destroying him as soon as possible. Three, six, two, three. He's gone, that's okay. You can do a death from above. It's a 33% chance this guy's gone. I think that's gonna be... Aren't you forward? Drop the Sherman. It's a howitzer. Not what we're looking for. Next turn, we're going to do a uh, death from above then for sure. Because we can sweep a little bit. Because if he doesn't drop any new units... Ooh, another 3-4. Damage to the HQ. That's fine. We'll definitely take it for a little bit. You're gone. You should really be attacking here. We will be buffing our Sherman with uh, the two, with a one one. Two six with guard. Sherman hits there, and then we have pretty good odds. Hit that guy. Death from above, we really need to hit this guy. Oh, we hit that one. Okay. Dish additional card draw when we go forward. We need to push this guy off the field, really. 6 4. Precision bombing to hand. Destroy an enemy unit. Okay. forward, give us suppression, that will be very nice. Gives us a little bit more time. Plop the Sherman down. There we go, target must retreat, that's what we're looking for. Go ahead and drop down a howitzer, just be a little bit more of a nuisance. One five with guard, sure. So, okay, the howitzer was there to tank a hit from the uh, the bomber. Two damage, sure. Drew another Sherman. There's the Panzer. Get off the field.
get rid of the guard unit on the bomber itself. Bomber's gonna it's gonna hit us, that's for sure. But having him reset is very nice. Alright, so you're gonna bomb our 5-5, five five, sure. Is that a guard unit? Mobilize spoke screen, sure. Your bomber is gonna be destroyed. We've got our own. That must be a win condition for him. We need additional card draw. Should we put out the Sherman instead? Oh, giant is nice. Give smoke screen to our HQ. It's also very nice and drop a howitzer. So I can't just attack our HQ for no reason. This guy will slowly continue to tick up. It's the howitzer, that's fine, it's there. Draw four cards. Not too bad. I only have three credits, you can drop one unit. Destroy target tank. There goes the Sherman. Yep. Death from above is very nice. That'll get rid of this guy. Do the two damage. So you can do one. Go ahead and do a death from above. Hit that guy instead. Hmm. It's a little unfortunate. Go ahead and plop down our bomb, our Stuka, which if it hits the HQ will force them to throw away a card. Could have repaired the Sherman though. We'll probably do that next turn. Or the fighter. Damage to target on oh, units cost plus one. Yep, that's not good. Two six with guard. Go ahead and hit our Stuka. Two two with smoke screen. We draw a card, HQ gains one defense. Do have the back line now. We will be repairing the Sherman. Getting rid of him. Drop down the M7 Priest. So his fighter will definitely go and attack this. And he'll probably trade his 2-2 tank against our Sherman. One damage. I only deploy one more unit. Four six, that's pretty good. Another Sherman for card draw. Then we have our own Mustang. Nice six four. Can survive his hits. Two four. Move you to the front. That'll be five, so we'll have three left, which would be our smoke screen. And so next turn we're going to drop down our Mustang. It's okay if he's gaining HP. Uh, we're a little bit on the back foot. The moment, with cards at least, the three six, we definitely don't want you to be drawing. Go ahead and hit our HQ, that's fine. The second Awoke Giant. We have our own fighter. Lock you up to the front line, you're a 5-5. Five five. Go ahead and hit you there. Because we do have a solution for this guy, finally. 
until they gain 1 HP, that's okay. That's a bit annoying, but okay. It's a 3-1 it's a now, and I don't think he's going to get any card draw out of it. Going to do damage to our HQ. I was like, if he doesn't, this guy's dead next turn. Let's see, what are you going to drop? It needs to have guard, otherwise he's gone. Nice 3-3. Three, three. Smoke screen on the battlefield. On your HQ. So we're going to clear out your air force. He's gone. Also gone. We want to hit the HQ. Let's go and buff up our Mustang. Hit the HQ. Let's go and drop a, another 3 6, no, 7th seventh, seventh Regiment for additional card draw. It's a good trade. You can walk forward if you want. It's totally okay. 2-3. If you control the front, front hand, you're going to force a hand card back. Okay. You only have one card left. You do have an Awoke Giant. Damage to an enemy. Ooh, that sucks. Definitely would prefer to keep him around. Awoke Giant. Nice 1-3 with Ambush. Take the front line for card draw. Go ahead and drop our Mustang once again. And we'll drop the pack as well. Nice 3 6 guarding the front. Three four. I think we'll go ahead and get rid of him. Get rid of the infantry. March forward. Let's go ahead and drop down a 7th Regiment. And we'll think about dropping the Tiger next turn. Still gaining HP. Draw two cards. That's a pretty nice card for him, actually. 2 6 with guard. And a Monte to pin all enemies and draw a card. So we're not advancing this turn. And a 6-6. Six, six. That's not good. And go ahead and suppress the back line, or... It goes back in your hand. Which is what I would prefer. Because that guy would give us... Put us down to one h one uh one HP on the uh, HQ, which I would like to prefer. Plus two defense. And their attacks become equal to their defenses. Oof, makes that guy pretty strong. Go and trade there. Get rid of our aircraft for it. We need at least one extra in the back line. Go ahead and suppress them. Or we can just get additional 3 HP. Force the 8 8 back into his hand. Go ahead and do 2 damage, or 5 damage to the HQ. It's much better than uh, sacrificing a guy each turn. Nice 2 6 with guard back. And a 1-1, one, one. this guy needs to go, but I can't do anything about that. Oh, and I have no cards left. Uh-oh. So we do have a time frame. I'll be at a short one. Suppress everything.
Alrighty, and it, we just need to go. Three damage. We can drop a five five. There we go. We are. <laughs> we have one more turn. So we don't have. Oh no, we got a little bit more because we can get three HP. Nice three six heavy armor. Pretty sure we need to plop this down. Yep, so we take three damage. We need that. Self-destructed. We had it in the game, but we just ran out of cards.